Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're going to be reading letters. Woo, woo, woo. What do you think this may be about? Because I'm not sure. Everybody, just want to let you know that the sun is shining on this beautiful day. Let's take a moment to thank the sun for shining. Anyway, let's read this book. Lettuce. The Dancing Rabbit. Now, I didn't read that bit at the bottom. I didn't realise it was The Dancing Rabbit. It's just about a rabbit called Lettuce. Okay. Lettuce and her family lived high up on the top of a hill. Nibble, nibble, hop, hop every day was the same. Until the day Lettuce saw a picture pinned to a tree. It was then she knew that she wanted to be like the little girl in the picture. She wanted to be a dancer more than anything in the world. Lettuce thought town would be the best place to find out more. So she hopped there all by herself. She'd never been so far in her life. Town was exciting, almost too exciting. There were lots of busy people, noisy baby, chatty children and big scary dogs. Seeing an open door, Lettuce peeped in and there she saw dancers just like in the picture. I want to dance, she cried, rushing in. The music stopped and everybody looked. Please may I join in? asked Lettuce shyly. Yes, said the surprised teacher, but first you must get dressed into ballet clothes. Lettuce didn't know what to do. She had never worn clothes before. You can get them at the shop we get ours from, called, our, called the little girl. At the shop, Lettuce tried on all the clothes, but the dress dragged on the floor. The shoes were like flippers and the cardigan was huge. Lettuce began to cry. Then the shop assistant bought the ball out a ballerina doll. All the doll's clothes fitted perfectly. Now Lettuce was ready. Lettuce hopped back to the ballet class. First she had to learn the ballet positions. She watched and listened very carefully, copying the other dancers. The ballet teacher showed her how to hold her head high so her ears would look graceful. Lettuce worked very hard. She turned her long toes, she stretched up her arms and she tried not to wobble. When she jumped, it looked as though she was flying. When she whirled and whirled, she was almost a blur. Every week, Lettuce went to town for her class and at home she practised every spare minute of the day. The teacher thought Lettuce was very special and was amazed at her extraordinary jumps. Lettuce worked so hard that each night she went to bed very tired but happy. A few weeks later, it was the end of the term show. Lettuce, Lettuce had been chosen for a starring role. She had a gorgeous costume. There was even a tiny crown. All Lettuce's family had come to see her. Lettuce was so nervous, she thought she'd never be able to dance at all. The lights went down, the music began. Lettuce took a deep breath and leapt onto the stage. She glittered and twinkled and soared through the air. The rabbit family was so proud, they clapped with their little paws all through the show. When? It was all over. The rabbit family was so excited they rushed straight home. Wait for me, squeaked Lettuce. But they didn't hear her. Poor Lettuce, she was so tired and alone. And as she slowly walked home, the rain fell. She felt so miserable, she wanted to crawl into the warm, cosy burrow and fall fast asleep. The next day, the rabbit family were busy collecting apples, cabbages and carrots ready for a picnic. Lettuce won't want to come, she said to her brothers and sisters. She's a star now. But Lettuce heard them and felt very hurt. How could they go without her? She pulled off the crown and threw her dress. She kicked off her shoes and scrambled out of her tights. Wait for me, she cried and raced up the hill. She could feel the sun in her fur, the grass between her toes and the wind in her ears. It was wonderful. Lettuce has found out what it was like to be a ballerina. But she knew that being a rabbit was by far the best thing 
in the world. So, a lesson to learn is that even though you're on stage and you're a performer and you're a star, you can still be part of a family. You are still an amazing person. And I bet a lot of you watching this will be writers, will be millionaires, will be on stage. And you guys, don't forget your family. And also, never forget it all starts with a story. If you ever need a bedtime story or something to watch or something to watch when you're tired and you just want to relax, remember to come right here on It All Starts With A Story because we are all one big family. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for another exciting book. Bye!